Take the marker and it goes right through the card. The deck changes from blue to red. Watch, take the card and it can disappear. And we'll actually change it into the Ace of Spades. What's good? Welcome back, back to now. How to Magic. Watch the card. host Devin Aaron. Today I've got my daughter Ava with me and we are showing you the top five easy magic tricks with cards. You want to see a card trick? The first one's a cool card trick that you can do yourself. Check it out. Okay, cool <clears throat> card trick to show you. So check this out. I have a okay. deck of cards here. You can see they're all different cards, not all the same yes. card or anything. I'm going to riffle down the side of the pack. You know the drill to say stop whenever you want. Okay. Stop. Right there. Take a look at your card. Oh. Show it to the camera. Perfect. Got it locked in your mind now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just slide it back in the deck anywhere you'd like. Perfect. Now try and find your card, okay? Of course. Let's see. I think I've got it right There's no here. way you... Is that it? No. The Ace of Hearts? No. no? It's not the Ace of Hearts? No. Really? Oh man. I messed up. Let's see if we can use a little magic to correct this mistake. So I'm gonna take my marker and uh, check this out. I'm gonna draw a little something on the uh, Ace of Hearts. Check this out. On the top of the heart right here, just like that, okay? Oh, it looks like a... Yeah, can you can see it kind of looks like an upside down spade, doesn't it? Yeah, that's... <laughs> but it's red, right? Yes. So check this out. Watch, you can actually take the heart and it'll actually change into a spade. That's my card. Like that. That's my card. That's awesome. <laughs> that was crazy. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. Your first step is to take an ace of hearts from a deck of cards, and you're going to cut out the center pit. So once you have it cut out, you're just going to remove that part of the card just like that. And now you should have a cut out hole in the shape of the heart just like that. Then you're going to take a blank piece of playing card, and you're going to color the top half of it black. So once you have half of it colored black, the next step is to color the other half red. So once we have this half painted red, we're gonna let it dry. Our next step is to prepare the back of this card. We're gonna take two strips of cardstock and line them right here on the edges of the card and stick them in place with double-sided tape. Then once you have the strips affixed on either side of the card like this, you're going to take the red and black piece and it's gonna go in the center of them just like this. You want it to fit in between the two strips so it can slide just like this. So from this front side, it will look like a normal ace when you have it on top with the red but then when you slide it it turns black this is the entire secret to the illusion now we're going to close this off on the back with a little piece of card right across here now that we have this strip affixed across the back we can slide the piece freely just like this and it'll be held to the back of the card so now when we have it in this down position just like this it looks like a normal ace of hearts so we'll go from red to black just like that. I'm just gonna simply slide that up and down with your thumb. So you can have them pick the ace of spades, say, look, is this your card? You show them the ace of hearts and they go, eh, no, it wasn't the ace of hearts. Then you take your marker, draw the little bottom of a spade right here with a black marker and then say, watch, maybe we can take the ace of hearts and we'll actually change it into the ace of spades. So you slide the card and it looks like it then changes from the ace of hearts into the ace of spades. Obviously the little pips over here don't change, but a really cool visual and a super easy card trick that anyone can do. Here's another cool magic trick with cards that you can learn how to do at home. Watch, take the blue deck of playing cards and magically change it into a red one. Just like that. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, the setup for this one is actually really similar to the last trick. So you're going to make this right here. You need a blue card right there and you need a red card right here and you're gonna trim the edges off of the red card. Then you're going to put a piece of tape right across here to create a hinge for this card to go up and down just like that. And your next step is to create this. Again, really similar to the last trick. You're going to put a little strip of card on each of the edges just like this. Then you're going to glue or tape another card in place on the 
back of it just there. So once you have them joined together, you can see it creates a little channel, little gap right between those cards. And what we're gonna use that for is to hide the other card inside. Let me show you. So you're gonna take the flap card that you've made here with the edges trimmed off and you're going to slide that inside your little channel card. So now that you have your trimmed card hidden inside the channel card, you're going to hold the entire gimmick like this and you're going to place it on top of a red deck of playing cards. So it goes on top just like that and you're gonna hold this one up. And you can see now it looks like a blue deck of playing cards. All they see is this top card and that kind of reads to the audience's mind that this is a blue deck. So you can show it like this and then as you pull down with the card, it looks like it just magically changes color just like that. And as this comes down, you're just gonna hold this flap with your fingers, then you can spread through the entire deck and show that the entire thing has now turned red. So you wanna keep the channel card completely vertical as you move down like this, and that card will slide out just like that. Looks like the whole deck is just magically changing colors. So amazing looking. Here's a super easy card trick that looks amazing. Okay, watch, I have a cool hand trick to show you, so check this out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All you need to perform this card trick yourself are four cards that are exactly the same. And these sleight of hand moves that I'm about to teach you. So you're going to take the four cards, gather them up, and hold them together as one just like this. You're then going to form your hand into this shape just like this. You're going to bring the forefinger and thumb together like that, and the middle finger is going to lay right on top. And then the cards are going to get tucked right here in between your middle and forefinger, just like that. Now this is angle sensitive. That means they can only see this from a certain angle. From this side, we can clearly see what's going on. You're just going to bring your hand around like this. You can bring it through like this. You can show this hand completely empty. And then when you want to produce the cards, all you have to do is grab them here and pop them up. And it looks like the four cards have just magically produced from nowhere. It's a really cool sleight of hand card trick that you can do with just a little bit of practice. Try it in the mirror to make sure you get the angles right, then you can make a video of it, send it to people. It's a shocking card production that looks really, really visual once you get the timing down. A cool card trick that you can do at home right now. And that is how you do the magic of hearing aces. Here's a classic card illusion that everyone loves. So I have a playing card here, the Queen of Hearts. You can see it on both sides. And I also have a marker. So we're going to take the marker and the Queen of Hearts watch. I'm going to take the marker and it's actually going to go right down through the card just like that. You can see it. It's actually through the card. You can twist it and move it around. Now watch. This is the coolest thing about the trick. When you take the marker and pull it out, it actually looks like the queen has no hole in it whatsoever. It's completely healed. They can inspect the marker. What an amazing card trick that you can learn the secret of coming up next. Here's the setup for this one. There's a little bit of preparation involved, but it's worth it because you can keep this gimmick and perform the trick over and over. You need two duplicate cards. That is two cards that are exactly the same and then one extra card. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, a pen, and a marker. Step one is to remove the cap from the marker and place it on one of the duplicate cards and then trace around the base of it. Then carefully cut out the hole with your blade. Once the hole has been cut, you can then remove Remove it from the card just like this. So now that we have the hole in the card, as you can see, the marker will fit through just like that. You want it to be relatively tight fitting so that the marker can just slide in like that. Now we're going to take the other card and lay it on top just like so. Now, obviously, with this five, it really doesn't matter what card is behind it, but if you're using a face card like a king or a queen, you want that pattern to be the same behind the hole. So now that the hole is cut out just like that, you're going to take this and we're going to glue it in place on another card. Before we do that, we're going to cut a little hinge right here on the card. We're gonna line that up with the whole card just like this. I want the hinge to go right about there. So then you're gonna bend it right here, and now you have your little hinge flap, just like this. Now we're gonna take that piece of the other card right here, and we're gonna glue it in place on our flap. Then we're gonna take the flap card and glue it in place on the back of the whole card, just like this, so that when the flap comes up, it fills that hole. On the back, it looks just like this. For demonstration purposes, we are using a five of hearts so that you can see the hole really well. You do wanna use a face card when you set this up so that it hides it in the design better. But that is pretty much it. Then you can insert the marker like this. It goes through the card. You can show it like that. Take the marker and it goes right through the card. And then when it comes back out, you wanna press the flap back into place and the hole will fill in the design and it looks like the card is just magically healed. And you can show the backside as well because when the flap comes down, it hides the entire setup just like that. Now you know the secret of the magic marker through the card trick. This one's an easy magic trick that you can set up at home with stuff you probably already have around the house. Watch, empty hands.
The first thing you'll need for this trick is some construction paper, and you need these in black. And you're also going to need a black garment, a black shirt to match the color of the construction paper. You can also use felt or black cloth. You're also going to need some double-sided tape and some playing cards. Your first step is to prepare the construction paper with some pieces of double-sided tape on the sides, just like this. You're gonna do a strip there, a strip here, and a strip here. We're gonna leave the top open. So once you have the tape applied, you can then affix this to the front of your shirt. We're just gonna take it and stick it on our shirt just like this. We wanna leave the top open so that we can slide things in and out. Okay, watch, I have a fan of cards here. Just going to place them down in my hand just like this and it looks like the cards just magically vanish. And that is the secret of the magic appearing and disappearing cards. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it as well. We have a lot of cool card tricks at EvanEraTV.com. That is our online magic shop. We have a ton of cool magic tricks and other merch that's available for shipping all over the world. Be sure to place your orders now to get it in time for Christmas if you live here in the U.S. And the link for that is in the description down below or at EvanEraTV.com. If you're on Facebook, be sure to check out our Facebook page. That's Facebook.com slash EvanEraTV. Go give the page a like and a follow and check out all the cool videos we have there as well. We have a second channel on YouTube. It's kind of a secret channel. Not that many people know about it. It's called Evan Era Vlogs. We post behind the scenes videos of how these how-to magic videos are made and also uh, videos from our travels. So be sure to check that out. All right, guys, I'm giving away some really cool card tricks from EvanEraTV.com. We have the Magic Invisible deck, the Magic Mirror cards, Rainbow Silver, Magic Card Sleeves, the Magic Shrinking deck of cards, Miniature decks of Bicycle cards, the Magic Changing Card Box, our Magic Growing Long cards, and the electric decks. All of those are up for grabs in this giveaway and they're available at EvanAirTV.com if you want to pick up any of those cool tricks. They make awesome holiday gifts for the magician in your life. Alright guys, it's time to announce our giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right there. If you won the giveaway, send an email to this email address on the screen with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. What's good guys? We are here in U.S. Virgin Islands. This is St. Thomas in the background here and we are getting ready to hit two million subscribers on Evanera TV. By the time you're seeing this video, we've already hit it, so thank you for subscribing. But right now, in real time, we're about to hit it. I'm looking at the subscriber count here on my phone, and it's about to happen right now. There it is, two million subscribers. If you subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for your love and support. It truly means the world to me. So we came down here to the US Virgin Islands to celebrate this amazing milestone. And I just wanted to show you a quick highlight reel of some of the things we did to celebrate. So here's to 2 million subscribers and here's to many more magical milestones for the years to come. So thank you so much for 2 million subscribers. Once again, I just got back from USVI yesterday. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap our notification bell so you see all of our videos. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.